actually going to do is uh, I think this will be fun. We're going to pull up that recording. I think it's this one. Open with Movie TV. Uh, same thing I said in the other one. Take note of the dates. So this is a couple days ago I recorded this. And I'm basically going to do a voiceover because I have this like pen thing. I don't really know how to use it quite yet, but... Yeah, cool. Let's me color. So that's kind of the point. But basically, I want to show things um, that I think are important. So I'm going to be drawing them out. And maybe I want to get red, so let's get a more reddish color. Let's see if it worked. Yeah, it did work. But I'm going to explain things when I do them. Um, play style wise, I'm really unhappy that I have this ability right now because this ability isn't really helping me in this entire fight. None of these gates really needed a stagger ability, so I should have been running a different one for him for a meter gain. And it's a blunder, but it's a small blunder. For the record, I didn't know any of these fights either. Uh, I'm going to do one gate at a time. I'm also going to do one gate at a time, kind of like what Stoops is doing. Um, so the videos aren't too long, give you a little bit of time to process it. I'm still working on the 4K hours video. It's not going to actually come out for like a week or so, maybe even a little longer. But about a week it's going to take me for that um, because I'm just adding clips to it still. And uh, a lot more than just clips. I also it's doing a two video thing. So the 4K hours video that I'm working on isn't just a 4K hour recap video. I'm doing a cool, I don't want to ruin it, but I'm doing something I think cool similar to the last video I did with the clown thing um, with the it stuff for it and then i'm also doing another version of it that's more mathematical and analytical that breaks down kind of why my account is where it is um but yeah i figure in the meantime i can i don't have to do a ton of editing for gameplay videos so i'll just upload a couple of these talk about it other thing is i'm also doing um i told you guys this before i'm doing a guides video a raid guides video so actually this is the part i want to talk about though so i do want to okay so i can't pause the video And that's a problem. I need to. Oh, okay. So hold up. I want to just backpedal a little. Um, so I have to like. So here's what I want to show, and you're gonna see it more obviously when I'm down here. Right here. So I want to show this. Okay, what this concept is, and I think it'll be really helpful. And I talk about it in the guide videos that I'm making. So I'm making a raid guide video. I've started with Vault in. Um, I'm talking about all of them. It's probably going to be a longer video for sure. But I'm basically doing the same thing I'm about to do now. And this is one of those tips that's going to be in the video. So I apologize if this is going to be a repeated tip. But I feel like it's important while I'm doing this raid, I can point it out. So what you have here is a, you know, giant circle. All of these things here are going in a giant circle all the way around, right? And something like that. Can everyone see that? Yeah, we'll even draw out the rest of the circle because you can kind of see it right now because of the way a circle works and i talk about this <sighs> slow down i talk about this in another one of my videos or in the other video in the guide video so i'll talk about it more in depth there but basically it's a geometry thing so it's a lot less to do with the game and more to do with the way shapes work so when you have a circle right and then you have another circle inside of it the distance from here to here is shorter than the distance from here to here if that makes sense right so when you have two things orbiting each other what you get is this uh effect basically what i'm going to tell you what the tip is is this orbit out here right the longer orbit we're going to call it this one this orbit here right is going to take uh you know a certain period of time for that orb to rotate from here to here then you have the internal circle, like as close as you could possibly be, which is like right here, right on top of the boss, right? Which is gonna have its own circle, you know, perpendicular to that from here to here. But the reason why I'm pointing this out, okay, is that you'll notice that these two lines will probably connect. And what happens is, and anybody who already knows this, I'm sorry if it sounds redundant, but these things are important to people who don't know them. But because of how geometry works, this distance here, this distance here is shorter than this distance here, which means that it would take you as a player 
you as a player will take less time to travel this distance than to travel this distance. So in this mech specifically, this is how this concept applies. This applies all across the board in all the raids, but in this specific example, the radius concept is used to your benefit like this. And this is the tip, is that you want to be closer to the boss than closer to this. So your distance here should be shorter or longer than the distance between here and here. And the reason is, is because you want to, and it depends on how fast your character moves too, right? But if you're running closer to the boss, then you're always going to be able to keep up with your orb because you have to move a significantly, a le significantly less amount of pixels, significantly less amount of pixels than the orb has to move in that same period of time because it's arc or it's orbit is longer. Does that make sense? It's just the way a circle works. So uh, it's a really important tip. I'm gonna erase all of those lines now. Um, but again, the tip here is just basically run closer to the boss because if you're running closer to the boss, it's easier to keep up speed wise with it. Like anybody that you see that's like right next to it or anybody that you see that's like right next to the orb either has a, enough swiftness to do that, which I doubt, but has either enough movement speed to stay with the pace of the orb um, or doesn't know what they're doing and they're going to slowly fall behind their orb. And like I actually like I run again, I'm just going to hit play now. Actually, let's just hit play. And we will obviously take all of these off the screen. And we'll hit play. But yeah, so that's just that's one tip. I think it's a really important one, though. I don't want to spend too long. Um, so you're seeing me kind of get close to it and then do that right there. I kind of got stuck, but... You get the point. It's just, these are mathematical aspects. Again, I told you guys that I'm always going to point out mathematical variables because it's kind of my thing. Um, geometry is a form of math. Shapes actually dictate more than numbers. Numbers are the made up uh, human aspects for us to interpret it. Like the shapes are actually the real math if you want to get technical, but it doesn't matter. That's a stupid nerd thing, right? But the geometry here in this game does matter. And I'm going to be showing you how small tips and tricks to make you a better player that you can apply. And that's definitely one of them for that gate for that mechanic right there you just want to run closer to the boss and it will help you keep up the, the thingy um as for you and your teammates working out who's going to grab what good luck because that was definitely something that a lot of the groups are arguing about even in the normal runs which doesn't make any sense just take a free fucking orb if the color cyan find an open cyan and don't take a teammate cyan like um for this i don't have any tips break the person out be close to your teammate like this one stay inside like this some of the shit you're gonna figure out on your own like there's no reason to give you a tip for it but things like that the geometrical aspects little things that you can apply that can make a massive difference i'm gonna talk about but knowing that pink right there is a reflector shield like you need to just know that i'm not gonna teach you that figure that the fuck out on your own but watch the other people's videos my videos are only ever gonna be able to teach you those little tips and tricks those little geometrical aspects that will change the way you look at the world again that's my goal because that doesn't just apply to the game that, that applies to real life that actually applies to real life too. So people always wonder why I cut corners when I take turns, right? When I, not in a car, but not as a person. And this does actually apply as a car too. Like it's the same exact concept when you're driving a vehicle. So you'll notice like big rigs actually, or well, first I was gonna say when I'm walking, but now I'll actually use cars because it's easy relevance. You'll notice trucks, trucks on circles will always go towards like the outside of the circle and it's because they have more room for the truck. More like a more of a radii, I guess. I don't even know what the fuck that's called when it's like the half part of the circle or the outer part, but circum circumference? I think it was circumference. So like a quarter of the circumference, essentially. Um, a truck covers more of that than a car would. So a car can ride in the middle or ride close to the inner part of a turn, whereas the truck has to go towards the outer part of the turn because they need the whole length of the turn, if that makes sense. It's the same concept. The orb has a giant fucking orbit, which means that to match its speed, you don't actually have to go as fast as it you just need to orbit in a smaller orbit which is provided to you by the, the mechanic itself but yeah i actually think we have another mechanic here so more tips um this one pisses me off a little bit because just go break a single don't break more than one single and kill your teammates and then go break a double and a triple uh, this this mechanic bothered me a lot of the groups fucked this up like i actually have most of, most of mine done every one of my allegations is done except for the artist which i'm not gonna do um i just don't care do you know she still needs her hard bra set but the the um it's a seventh alt right and then the death blade still needs it too but i'm sure i'll be fine um i just don't i didn't have the goal for the knowledge transfer i said i was gonna will it but i didn't i didn't because how can i tell you guys like all these tips about playing the game and then just buy my gold right like i really should because it just it set me back five times six thirty thousand gold 
to choose a knowledge transfer is, but it's realistic because you're all going to be dealing with the same problem, right? So, uh, but the truth of it is, is like I, I would end up buying the packs right now anyways, like the wallpapers and shit. Like, so that's why I'm kind of like, I should just do it because this is a moment where I would end up spending money anyhow. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna have some patience. I'm still gonna get the wallpaper at the end of it though. So in 20, 30 days, I'm going to spend a hundred bucks. Um, and this part of my 4k hour video, I can like spoil that. Part of the 4K hour video is I show I'm I'm gonna have the Steam receipts pulled up with the dates next to it, and I can show that each of them is either buying pets or wallpapers because of the time period that I'm getting it. So I thought that was kind of fun. So I can't I can't wait to do the 4K hour video. I'm so pumped because it, the way that I'm doing it, I think is just so different than anybody else. Um, I already know it's different than everybody else, but I think it's fucking cool. I think it's cool. I'm taking a lot of what I did with that clown video and implementing it, and that's why I did the clown video. Um, that was a, you know, a stab at some douchebags from, from the old static. But in addition to being a stab to the monkeys from the old static that just can't help the fact that I'm right. Um, it's also me showing, like, I can't wait to implement some of these new editing concepts that I've been looking at and watching. So I'm um, super pumped. There's really no more tips to give here. So I'm just kind of going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this. Um, I thought that this was the easiest raid we've had in a long time. This is a very nice, relaxing relief. So this is a shout-out to Smilegate and Amazon Games. Like, we needed this. We needed this. We needed content that was easy to get through, easy to farm, not super complicated or difficult. Like, we we could if we had gotten another hard brawl, people would have quit. People would have quit. It, it was, I mean, Gate 4 is still pretty tough on this. Don't get me wrong. But, like, but this is going to be a farmable concept fast. Like, very fast. Groups are going to get this down pat, I think. Um, it's not super complicated. It's definitely a DPS check. But if you have everybody alive, it's really not. Um, and I could just play right into the second gate and make this a little longer of a video, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't want to. I'm just, I'm trying to get content out so you guys know I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm trying to have fun, happy medium. You're going to have some quality content coming out within the next week or so. Like, quality, like, I'm going to put, I, I'm not going to put, I put a ridiculous amount of time into this 4,000 hour video. So, you got, I think, a relatively quality set of two pieces of videos that are going to come out in the next couple of weeks. And then you're going to have a lot of small filler pieces of content like this for the time period. Um, so, it's not a major arc for me right now that I'm showing you, but it's definitely some side story. <laughs> oh, and that's the other thing, I MVP'd all of these gates. For the record, every single gate I MVP like Paliope, and that's with my 50-50 split one k one k. Just saying, like it's Pally's not bad. Oh, was that a good MVP though? Yeah, Noble supporter twenty three. Like I'm happy with that. I forget what the chart was. But we had it in a video, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. I just appreciate everybody who's been tuning in. I appreciate the comments, especially some of you who are return commenters. I really do appreciate that. Like the videos that got the most views had the most comments. There's obviously a correlation there. Um, help me out with the algorithm, right? That's what we're supposed to preach. So like, comment, subscribe. Help me with the algorithm. It would really pay off. 75% uh, of you that view my video aren't subscribed based on my statistics. So please hit that subscribe. No, like, if you like what I'm providing you, if you like me, then subscribe and in enjoy the content and like it, right? But, but uh, don't, don't if you don't, right? Like, I'm not like that. Like, don't, don't just do it to do it. Do it because you really enjoy it. And uh, I promise you, though, like, I, I, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm having fun with it now because I'm getting that validation. So it's only going to get better from here. I'm going to learn more of the editing tips. I'm looking at some ed audio softwares to put in little noises. Like, this is only going to get better. I have something now where I can draw on the screen, you know, so it's... And I know these are all simple things to a lot of you. A lot of you are like, guys, I could set that up in, like, a 10 minutes. Cool. Then join the Discord and come help me set it up in 10 minutes. Like, I'm a delegator. I'm not a doer. I never have been. I'm, I am not the details guy. That math stuff, those old spreadsheets and shit you've seen, those aren't, that's not me. I, I just had crazy, radical, weird ideas, and I'm just a visionary. That's it. Let me be your vision. Let me be your visionary, and you guys can all be my details. You guys can flood me with facts and all the math, the actual detailed stuff, and I'll tell you how we need to use it to move us all forward. How's that sound? Like I said, I got your best interest at heart. So, because your best interest is my best interest. The community thrives. I thrive. I thrive. The community thrives. Right? So, peace. I hope I evolved your mentalities. I really hope that that circle tip helps a ton of fucking people. Because it's something that applies to other games and every aspect of life. Again, everything that I give you guys on this channel. 
will be able to be re reused in some other aspect of your life. So I hope you guys get out of fish from, from all the stuff I teach. But uh, that's it. I'll catch you in another one. It really been a good time. I don't know what else to tell you.